Hello there, and welcome to Fireflink Tutorials. In this session, we'll take a closer look at the concept of parameterizing step groups, and also demonstrate how to effectively create nested step groups. Let's first understand what a parameterized step group is. Here, we are examining a step group that applies to the login scenario within the Shopper Stack e-commerce application where variables are used. If another engineer needs to use the same step group, but with a different email and password, creating multiple variables for the same scenario is inefficient. Instead, we can create email and password as parameters and pass their values during the usage of the step group. To create a parameterized step group, go to the repository section and click on the step group tab. We have created a library that contains a step group for login steps beforehand. Click on the parameters tab for the selected step group and then click on plus parameter button. Here we will first create a parameter for the email address. Choose the type of parameter from the dropdown which in this case is a string. We'll now proceed to craft a parameter for the password as well. Next, go to the steps tab within the step group. Instead of the email variable, choose the step group parameter option by using the dollar symbol as input in the NLP. Do the same for the password variable, replacing it with the password step group parameter input in the NLP. Using the parameterized step group is quite simple. Just navigate to the desired automation script. When you call up this parameterized step group from the NLP search, a pop-up will show up. Here, the user will be asked to input the necessary details for the parameterized components. Moving forward, let's explore the concept of nested step groups. When we place one step group within another, it's referred to as a nested step group. This structure can have multiple layers of nesting. For instance, let's use the same step group and focus on the open browser step included within it. This is a step group on its own. Click on the steps option to expand and see the associated steps. This effectively illustrates the nesting of step groups. To wrap things up, we've demonstrated the process of generating parameterized inputs and have explored the practicality of nesting step groups. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.